What is up, everybody? In this video, I want to answer a question that I had this week on creative doubt. And I think this is important, and I wanted to share it with everybody. And so this individual is working on assembling some images for his next book, and he writes, I doubt when I photograph. I doubt when I select my pictures. I even doubt when I watch a documentary on a photographer who doubts. Meanwhile, the only thing that I am sure about is that I doubt. So more than having a reassuring answer which only feeds doubt, I would especially like to know how you and the photographers that you have interviewed handle the doubt in their work. And this is an excellent question and it is very normal. It is part of being a human being. It is part of doing creative work. We question what we do. Um, I think anybody would be lying if they told you you didn't doubt. Now here's the problem with doubt. Doubt is what prevents us from achieving goals because we doubt we can do it. Um, it's really easy to say, oh, I don't think I could do that, or I don't think this is good enough, or whatever that is, and that actually prevents you from being successful. Having said that, I have worked with a lot of artists through this show, and I have worked with artists when I worked at the art museum years ago. And at, particularly when I was at the museum, we would do exhibitions with living photographers, they would be very hands-on in that process. Even early on, they would fly in and they would oversee everything from the hanging of the show down to videos that we produced, down to the invitation cards that were going out to members. It was everything. And it was never a question as of, what does this piece go on the right or the left? Forget that. There was a model that was built early on. They would come in, that needs to go up six inches. The light's wrong. Can we get another can pointing over here? I mean, it was it was very, very hands-on, and I never saw anything from any artist on a professional level that wasn't less than complete confidence. Complete confidence. And and that makes sense because it's being an artist, I believe, is is a leadership role, particularly when you're doing an exhibition, an interview in that capacity, and you have to be very confident of yourself. And exuding that confidence is of extreme importance. It's the same as going to a doctor for some big procedure, and they may be worried about it, but they're hopefully not going to tell you they're worried about it. Hopefully they're not that worried about it, but it's normal. It's, it's human nature. We all have, I've had some wonderful conversations with people. Um, a really good friend of mine who's gone on to be a successful artist, and we used to talk about it over coffee, and it's almost like you have this little voice in the back of your head that's constantly questioning, and it's constantly saying things like, that's not good enough, nobody's gonna like that, who wants to see that, that's already been done. It's saying all these things that are just negative all the time, and you have to be positive, and I think the key to this, and the secret to it, is learning and understanding how to, when to shut that voice off. You know it's gonna be speaking, but you need to understand that, you know what, I'm not going to pay attention to that right now. It's like Steve Jobs once said, real artists ship, and that's important. You have to ship at some point. Um, particularly if you're doing this for a vocation, you have to get stuff out. But even if you're just doing it for passion reasons, you still have to produce. It's going to be how you get better. Now here's the weird thing about doubt, is that doubt is the necessary evil. Because if we didn't doubt our work, we would never question our work, we would never grow as ours, we would never get any better. And you'd probably be bored if you ever reached the finish line and thought, well, I don't doubt anything. It's this, this, and this. And it's just like, you know, doing the dishes or something and then putting out work. That wouldn't be interesting at all. Creativity is a lifelong pursuit. It's something that we're constantly working on trying to improve, getting better at ourselves, and striving for something greater. I, you know, I try to be very open with myself on this show and letting you guys know what I think. And I, I mean, I have horrible problems with it sometimes, even in producing these videos. There are videos that I almost didn't even film because I thought, there's usually a reason why, but usually it's because this is gonna be too controversial, this is too opinionated, somebody might not like it, I'm gonna upset somebody, there's all kinds of reasons. And some of those videos, surprisingly, went on to become some of my most viewed videos. Like, for instance, the Nobody Cares About Your Photography. I thought that was a little too shocking and almost didn't do it. Um, another one was the Casey Neistat video, and that one was like ridiculous because I thought, you know, who doesn't like produce videos for YouTube and how can you not know who Casey Neistat is? So who am I to come along and say, wow, he did a great job, nice work. It wasn't a complex video or anything. I almost didn't do it. Well, that's my third most viewed video right now. And so usually I'm proven wrong when I go ahead and just put something out there. And I'm not saying you need to just throw out junk, but you need to just understand sometimes this is what it's going to be right now and it needs to go out because you're gonna get more, or you're gonna gain more ground in the discovery that follows putting something out than 
holding yourself back and saying no. And I hope that makes sense because I think it's really, really important. I want to end this by recommending you guys watch something. Um, my friend John Free, you might remember, we have done several videos together. John is a fantastic photographer and a very good friend. He lives in Los Angeles, wonderful street photographer. And I would even go as far as to say John is a mentor in many ways. Uh, I don't I hesitate to call him a teacher. He does a lot of teaching, but teacher sounds like there's a workbook and some tests and some grades that are being taken. And John is not like that. John is completely about sharing the enthusiasm and the passion that he has for photography with the people that he is working with. And he has certainly been a photography mentor to me. And it's, it's always inspiring to be around John and hear him talk because he is so passionate about it. And to him, I don't think these kinds of things bother him as much. I mean, like everybody else, I'm sure he has them. And the reason that I want to recommend this video to you is because John is definitely of the mindset that photography is more than what you see printed on the page. Um, many times, especially with street photography, there is a story behind something. And sometimes, I would say most of the time, we probably don't even know what that whole story is. And so there's so much more depth than that. And I think that helps with the confidence that he has as a photographer because there's so much more to the story than just his own creative involvement. And I think that's important to know. So the video that I'm going to recommend is one that he put up this week and I will link it up at the end of this video. And so years ago he did a photo series on transients that were living on the train tracks. And so these were people that, you know, had mental issues sometimes, uh, problems with alcohol and would decide just to get on a train and live there. And so they were essentially tramps living in Los Angeles. That's pretty much as far west as you're going to get. So a lot of these guys came from the East Coast. And in photographing them and understanding that lifestyle and getting to know them as people really put a whole new perspective into that. And it became a pretty big photo essay. And he did some really wonderful work. And I've heard John talk about this. Uh, we've talked about it before and I've asked him about it. But I have not heard him talk about it to the depth and the extent that he does in this video. It is really, really... Um, worth watching, uh, highly recommended. And so I think just in terms of being inspired creatively, this is something I want to recommend to you guys. So I will link that up at the end of this video. Anyway, I want to hear your thoughts on creative doubt. How do you guys work with this? Is this something that affects everybody? And I'd like to get your input as well. So please leave me a comment below. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, subscribe to The Art of Photography for more videos. And if you're on YouTube, you're going to see these little suggestions pop up and I will put John Free's video there. Go watch it. I think you're really going to dig it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, later.